Hi, I'm Flake, and I'm one of the founders of Hable. And at the Hable, we always make the claim that you can use the Hable one without having any Braille knowledge. So today we designed a course to teach you how to work with your Hable one without having any Braille knowledge. And we made a few different episodes. In this first episode, I'm gonna go over the basics. So what do you need um, to get started? How do you hold the device? What are all the buttons numbered as? Um, and we'll also start with the first letters in Brill. Then we'll have a few more episodes to go into more detail of how to use your Hable One. By the end of these different trainings, you should be able to work with your Hable One and with the phone without any Brill knowledge. Um, and yet you can actually type in Brill at this point. Okay, so let's dive in today. Our first step, the first thing that we'll talk about is your setup. So what do you need to get started? Well, first you'll need a Hable One. Um, and you'll need a Hable One that's connected to either your phone or your tablet in this case. So how do you do this? The first thing you do is you need to connect your phone and your Hable One. All you need to do is go to the Bluetooth menu. Uh, you can either use Siri for this uh, and ask it to go to Bluetooth or you can just go via the settings or ask someone else to set this up for you. With the Hable on top you have an on and off switch. Um, if I turn it to the right, I will feel a vibration. This means it's turned on. When it's turned on, it will show up in your Bluetooth menu. So in the Bluetooth menu, then you can find Hable One and you can pair it from there. Now that your Hable and your phone are paired, this setup is ready to go. You don't need to do anything else. On your phone or on your tablet, we recommend you to go to the Notes app or a place where you can start typing and where you can practice. Also, be sure to have your voiceover on if you're on iPhone and if to have your talkback on when you're on Android. That's really the whole setup that we need. Now you're ready to get started. The next step is to hold your Hable One correctly. First things first, the Hable One is completely different than any other keyboard you might be used to. So we don't put this on a desk or on a surface. Instead, we hold the Hable One in the air with two hands. Let's imagine your phone is similar to your Hable One. Instead of holding it in a vertical mode, which you would do with a phone, you turn the Hable One sideways, so 90 degrees. So it's in a horizontal mode. There's one side where you feel eight buttons. These buttons should face away from you. So the flat side is actually facing towards you. This means that on the top of the Hable One, you feel the on and off switch. This is actually pointing at the ceiling. On the bottom of the Hable One, you feel the USB-C charging port. This is facing downwards. If you're doing this correctly, on the bottom right, or on the right side, you feel two holes, which is there for your lanyard strap that you can use. That's how you hold the Hable One correctly. So now your two hands, they fall around the sides of the Hable One and your fingers actually automatically fall on the six buttons uh, in the middle. These six buttons are the Braille buttons and we'll name them in a few seconds. When you're holding the Hable One correctly, the Hable rests on your pinkies and you're kind of stabilizing it with your thumbs. So just to be sure, the buttons should face away from you. So you type towards yourself and the USB-C charging port is facing towards the floor and your on and off switch is facing the ceiling. Now you're holding the Hable One correctly, it should feel quite comfortable. Next step, we'll name the different buttons. And we'll name the buttons because it's very important once we're going to type on the Hable One. We're naming the buttons based on the Braille grid. So in Braille, you either have 6 dot Braille and you have 8 dot Braille. With Hable One, we use the 6 dot Braille. It's similar to reading in Braille, and when you're new to Braille, this is how you would start learning it. These six round buttons, they are the Braille buttons. The larger keys are your backspace and your spacebar. So the big key on the left side, when you're holding it correctly, the big key on the left side is the backspace or button seven. The right key on the right side is the spacebar or button eight. The left key, the left big key or your backspace, you would press it down with either your left middle finger or your left index finger. The space bar would be with your right middle finger or your right index finger. You can use both, whatever feels more comfortable. Then we come to the six round buttons. When you're holding it correctly, your left index finger falls on button one. This is button one. Then your left middle finger will fall on button two and your left ring finger will fall on button three. The other side will be the button four, five, and six. So my right index finger will be on button four, my right middle finger on button five, and my right ring finger on button six. 
So just to repeat, I've button, when I go from left to right, I first have a big black button, the largest button I have, which is my backspace or button seven. Then I have my first set of white buttons, which is from the Brill Grid, which will be my left index finger on button one, my left middle finger on button two, my left ring finger on button three. Then I switch to my right hand. So my right index finger will be on button four, my right middle finger on button five, and my right ring finger on button six. And then all the way to the right, my the black button is my space bar or my button eight. And I'll use this with either my right index finger or middle finger, it doesn't really matter. That's how we're numbering the different buttons. Once we start typing, we'll use a combination of buttons at the same time. And this is again based on using Braille. That's the first part to remember. So get yourself, familiarize yourself with the numbering of these different buttons. It is quite easy. Also after a while, you might even forget the numbering because you'll just remember what each letter or number is. But this is what we need to get started. So memorize this, maybe write it down somewhere or um, put it down in the audio notes. That makes it a lot easier to use. Our next step, we're already ready to go and type the first 10 letters of the alphabet. And that will be the final part of this training. Let's dive in. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to ensure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. We're all ready to go to the next step and we'll start by typing the first 10 letters in Brill. What you do, make sure you're in, an, in the notes field or in a field on your phone or tablet where you can type right now. Why is this important? Because when you're typing, we want you to be able to hear the feedback of what you're typing. I'll give an example. If I type the A right now, a. you also hear the A. And this is exactly why you'll be able to learn this so quickly, because every time you type something, you'll have direct feedback. So when you're doing it wrong, you will have direct feedback that it's wrong or what you're actually typing. This way you'll be able to really quickly learn the entire alphabet, numbers, etc., and start typing super fast. So make sure you're in the notes app or in a place where you can type. You can now turn on your Hable one. So again, move the switch to the right, it's turned on. And we're gonna start typing the first 10 letters. Later, I'll explain you why we started with these first 10 letters. And um, for now, it doesn't really matter. Just know if you would learn Braille by reading it, you would not learn the first 10 letters of the alphabet first. There would be a different order. But because we're typing in Braille, this is a better way. Again, I'll get back to this later. Um, it's some technical reason, but this makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's dive in. The first letter in the alphabet is the A, and it's also the easiest letter to type in Braille. This is just pressing button one. So just button one will be the A. Just button one is the A. When we go to the B, we have, we have to use two buttons at the same time. So button one and two at the same time will be the B. B. When we move to the C, it's again two buttons at the same time. It will be button one and button four. So we'll move to C. C. Now, just try if you can remember these three. Try to do a few different combinations. So I can type the A, the B, B. C. and the C, C. 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 etc. We'll go to the D. This is button one, four, and five at the same time. E. Now we know the D, we'll go to the E, which is button one and five at the same time. E. And I'm just gonna finish the first 10 letters. Then we'll go to the F, which is button one, two, and four at the same time. Then the G, which is the top of the Braille cell. So it will be button one, two, four, and five at the same time. E. Then we'll move to button H. A button you'll use a lot when you're using the Hable one, because you can also use it to go back to the home screen. Button H is button one, two, and five at the same time. H. Then the I, the I is the opposite of the E, so it's button two and button four at the same time. I. And the final button we need to learn is the button J, which is button two, four, and five at the same time. So those are the first 10 letters of Braille. Now, I don't expect you to remember them after listening to this for just a minute, um, but now it's about practicing them. So again, ideally, you can note this down. We'll also put them in the description, the different combination of buttons. What you should do now is practice them. Just right now, take around 10 minutes to learn these 10 different letters. So from A, button one, B, one and two, C, one and four, D is one, four, and five. E is one and five. Then F is one, two, and four. G is one and two, and four, and five. 
H is 1, 2, and 5. I is 2 and 4. And J is 2, 4, and 5. Practice these, try different combinations of different words. Uh, again, we'll put in the link in the description to, to make sure we help you with this. Um, practice it, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes, you might already found, uh, find some new letters in the alphabet. Um, to make it easier for you, these first 10 letters, you don't actually use button three and six with it. Later on, you'll find out why that is the case. For now, just practice these 10 letters. And in the next episode, we'll actually already finish the entire alphabet because that's how fast we'll go. Um, try different things, take around 10 minutes before you go to this next episode, practice around, and probably in 10 minutes you're already able to remember these and work with them. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Also, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Um, we're making a lot more tutorials like these to help you use your phone in a better way. Thank you. Hable, always in control. <laughs>